Arch Linux is great, unless you're a newcomer to Linux. Arch Linux is a distribution that is a do-it-yourself project. Arch lets you build the operating system from the ground up, allowing you to have full control over everything that gets installed onto the system, as well as having access to all the ports, and this is also great if you're privacy conscious and prefer to not have diagnostic data or telemetry baked into the operating system, and some people say Linux is full of telemetry, but that's a load of shit, unless you're referring to the telemetry collected by all the applications, which let's face it, is reality and is unavoidable, some apps do let you turn off telemetry data collection, although many switch to Linux because this is not present in the operating system they are using, whether that be Windows, Mac OS, Chrome OS, or something else that we know hogs your data and sells it like it's going out of fashion, well with Arch Linux, or really, any distro, you have not to worry about hidden backdoors spyware, or any sort of potential security and privacy compromise that's lurking beneath the surface of the operating system, and since the source code is open to everyone, anyone with a bit of technical know-how can easily get in there and modify it, before it has a chance to wreak havoc on real systems. Arch Linux is a great distro if you love fine-tuning the operating system and spending hours customizing the user interface, but what if you want pure simplicity? or perhaps a nice and easy system with a friendly user interface, well, that's where Arch starts to become a less viable option, especially if you're new to Linux and don't have the slightest clue about anything Linux related, I hear people recommend Arch for beginners, and to see that is very upsetting, and annoying, because for one, Linux is all about freedom, therefore, you shall not force one to use a specific distro, for two, Arch Linux is not the distro that the average Joe would want to use, if they the command line interface, they will freak out and have a heart attack, and Arch can be problematic with network cards, sound cards, graphics cards, etc, depending on the specific hardware you have, so don't go telling me that Arch Linux is for beginners and noobs, it is about as far away from being beginner friendly as could possibly be. And Arch is not the hardest distro out there. Gentoo is even harder, and you compile that bad boy using source code, you have to compile the whole fucking thing yourself, is it any wonder people are not interested in moving to Linux, I tell you what, if you lack programming skills, you should not be using Linux at all, that's not to say you cannot use Linux, but you will have a hard and frustrating time understanding it and learning how to use it, and no amount of beginner friendly distributions are going to fix the fuck out of that, because the person who cannot send an email almost certainly does not even know what Linux is, so are you gonna go fucking tell me that that guy needs to use Linux, oh shove that shit up your ass, seriously, some stupid Linux fanboys really need to see the world, and people, for what they really are, not live in a rather chaotic and stupid fantasy where one person should use this distro, this person should use the distro, this one is better than the other, oh please, can you fuck off with your childish ass bullshit, it sounds like a pair of fucking five year olds fighting with each other, so come on, get a grip on reality you numb nuts, and also stop telling people what they can or cannot use, we have our own freedom and autonomy to do as we please, so you shall not infringe upon that, and on top of that, please stop recommending the most difficult operating systems to the least tech literate people out there, you seriously expect that everyone has all the time in the world to learn Linux, and that everyone has that skill set, well unfortunately, that's just not the way the fucking world works and you Linux fanboys are gonna get a nice slap on the face, or the wrist, when reality pays you a visit, who knows how reality will come to you, but one way or another, you won't see it coming. Arch Linux is a great bit of kit if you have all the time in the world, or you do not value free time and are happy to spend hours tweaking every little nook and cranny of the operating system, but unless that's you, you should not use Arch Linux. It is the most difficult and overrated Linux distribution out there, only behind Gentoo when it comes to difficulty, and as I mentioned, 
it's really only for those who want to fine-tune their operating system and have complete and total control over everything that's installed on the system, including telemetry data collection services and other services, but that's not the majority of people using Windows or Mac OS, clearly, most people are happy using their current OS, and to be honest, I actually use multiple operating systems, not just one, some of you may know I use Chrome OS, as I have a Chromebook, I also use two Android phones, and my main PC currently runs Linux Lite, which is a lightweight Linux distribution designed for older and less powerful computers, and I when I come to change distros again, yes, I have actually switched from Mint, to Ubuntu, to Linux Lite but I have been using Mint for years, and Ubuntu was somewhat unfavorable, so I had to go with something light, different, and unique, and I would say that Linux Lite does just that, although when I come to install another distro in god knows how long, I may end up going with Arch Linux, as I want to work the system from the ground up, install my preferred desktop environment, which for me, would be Cinnamon, KDE Plasma, or XFCE, although I also love Mate and Gnome, they are lovely as well, but I would have to ensure that Arch works well with my Wi-Fi dongle, and other various hardware accessories I tend to use on a regular basis, so once I have taken Arch for a spin and driven it a few times, I will see whether or not I will make the switch, but for the time being, I intend on sticking with Linux Lite until I have a compelling reason to move to Arch Linux and I am actually thinking about buying an old laptop of some sort to try Arch on, I would love suggestions for a good, cheap, functional computer that I could easily find on eBay or Amazon, any suggestions would be greatly appreciated, and it does not have to be super powerful or new, and Arch Linux can run on anything really, since I could choose to install it without a desktop environment, this would make it extremely lightweight, and you could run it with as little as 500 megabytes of RAM and a Pentium or Celeron processor, though this is obviously not at all advisable for daily tasks, Arch would need about 2 gigabytes of RAM, depending on the desktop environment you choose to install, some are more graphically demanding and heavier on system resources, KDE is notable for being resource hungry, whereas XFCE, by contrast, is lightweight and runs very well, even on very low powered computers, meaning computers with a low spec CPU, GPU, and little memory can run efficiently with a Linux operating system that's using the XFCE desktop environment, and these desktop environments can also be used on BSD, but given all this variety, it also makes it overwhelming for beginners and newcomers, they wouldn't know what to use, or what would be best for them, remember, everyone has their own tastes and opinions, so your idea of the best is completely different to another one, and Arch Linux is great and all, unless you're not at all experienced in using Linux and running scripts, Arch Linux is a blessing and a curse, I would think, because while you have total control and input over the system, it also makes life unnecessarily complicated and very involved, and if Arch Linux breaks, that's on you and being a rather experimental system not known for stability, I would not run Arch Linux on a mission critical system, as it could break with a future update with buggy code, and you do not want to risk losing your data forever, because once it's gone, there's 99.9% .9 chance it's gone forever, but if we're talking about things that go online, that's a different and rather dark story, but we'll leave that one for a future video. Anyway. Please give this video a thumbs up, it will help more people discover my content, so please do that, please subscribe if you haven't already done so, I would really appreciate that, and go ahead and hit the bell icon, so that you are notified whenever we go live or upload a new video. Thanks for watching. See you next video.